Welcome to Black and Gold Today, brought to you by Ray Brandt Infinity. I'm Rachel Whitaker. The Saints can't wait for their first primetime game of the season at Dallas. Now here for more on key matchups is Saints beat writer Catherine Terrell. Hey Catherine. Hey Rachel. Well, let's begin with a clip from Sean Payton on one of the Cowboys' offensive weapons, Des Bryant. Listen, he's big, he's physical, he's exceptional with the ball in his hands, so he's tough to bring down. He's a guy that can take an intermediate pass completion and, and, and make it a long one. Um, you can see he plays the ball well over his head, and he's tough to press, you know, so he, he's got that dimensions that you look for with his size, his speed. Uh, and he's very good run after the catch. Now, Catherine, the Saints have let a few, a, a few opposing receivers kind of break wide open so far. So what's the mindset among the Saints defense as far as defending the big play? Well, of course, you have to contain Des Bryant, and the Saints did a great job of that last year. He was limited to one catch for 44 yards. He was actually only targeted twice. Mm -hmm. um, they, they had Keenan Lewis shadowing him much of the time, but they did have safety help. So I assume that's what they're going to be doing this time. Um, it's kind of funny. I was talking to Bryant yesterday, and he said he was surprised that he was double teamed a lot. Um, against the Saints last year, which shouldn't be a surprise. Uh, he's such a great player, um, so they're going to have to they're going to have to contain him. That's going to be a big thing this weekend. Right. You mentioned that he was only ha that he was held to only one catch last season, and for for those 44 yards. Now uh, this year, uh, Demarco Murray's success has made his job and that of the passing game a lot easier, right? It definitely has, and that all starts with the offensive line. You know, they used their first-round pick on on Zach Martin. Uh, although I know they almost they almost picked Manziel, but actually Martin was a great pick. Their offensive line has really improved and really playing well this year. And you know, it goes down from there. Murray, um, his fumbling problems aside, has been great. So the Saints really respect their run game, um, and uh, you know, they're going to be giving a healthy dose of respect to that on Sunday. So those are the two playmakers that they got to watch out for, in addition to Romo, of course. Most definitely. Well, Catherine, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks a lot. All right, thanks for having me. Up next, your Fantasy Minute. Designing luxury with children in mind could be a little excessive, but we found the perfect balance with the Infinity QX60, featuring effortless third row access. Welcome back with fantasy columnist Jim Derry. Well, Jim, the saint you're watching this week had his best game in week three. And I think he's going to have an even better game this week. The Saints are going to have a lot of big plays, I think, this week against uh, a suspect Cowboys pass defense. And I'm looking at Kenny Stills to have a, a big night in, in Texas this weekend. Right, and two of his catches came on third down last week, so good to see him healthier. And your pickup of the week is a certain AFC tight end, is that right? Well, Oh, with Dennis Pitta out in Baltimore, I think, uh, Flacco's going to be looking for somebody. I think it's going to be Owen Daniels. And uh, in week two, he had two touchdowns in the red zone, and there's no reason to think why he won't have more opportunities to catch red zone touchdown passes. Owen Daniels is my pick this week. Right, with Pitta out, out, out for the season, uh, definitely good for the Ravens to have somebody like him. Well, don't forget to set your lineups, everybody. And Jim, thanks for the insight. See you next week, Rachel. Thank you. And don't miss Friday's show when the voice of the Saints, Jim Henderson, joins me in studio. Thanks for watching.